hey guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be doing it where i spin a wheel and i read for the amount of hours that it says so on here i've set it up between one and five but let's get on to spinning this wheel to find out how many hours i will be reading tonight I'd like to point out it is currently 10 past 10 so it could be that I'm up till like three or not. I haven't read at all today so yeah. Three hours okay so we will be reading for three hours today which isn't too bad technically at this point would lead up to like one o'clock but that's not too bad i don't know whether exactly i'll like read immediately now whether i'll pick up parts or not but i will set like a timer to like count down so if i have to like pause it to go to the toilet or something then i'm not like eating into that time let's get to reading for three hours so i should probably mention that the book that i think i'll start with is golden tiger by liz harris her book i'm currently reading as an arc so it's definitely more important that I finish it sooner rather than later. So I should be able to finish it in the three hours. I still haven't started Powerless. I'm hoping to start it tomorrow. Like, ooh, I so want to start it. This is going to sound like random, but I kind of wish I had space in my room to put like an actual like seat or like a beanbag. Because I would love to be able to like sit on the floor. I would love to be able to just sit on the floor and read and be cosy on the floor. Like I've got a couple of cushions and I could probably set up a little like corner. But also I kind of wish I had like a specific seat that again I don't have the room for it. Also I've realised I did do some reading today. I re listened to an audio book for like I want to say maybe an hour. I don't I can't remember exactly. Obviously I haven't started reading yet but I thought I'd give the update. Okay so i'm pretty sure i finished the three hours i didn't um time it because i was fit, um reading on like apple like ibooks or whatever it's like titled and so because it records like during the day like how much you've read i thought oh perfect but i kind of forgot that because i was reading so late it resets and doesn't show you how much you read the day previous which is a bit shit to be fair currently i've just kind of stopped reading and it was it's like five to one i started reading probably like the absolute latest quarter past 10 so that's quarter past 11 quarter past 12 i am a little short of the three oh my god it was five hours was it five no it was three it was three yeah, i'm pretty sure it was three I feel like I need to check back on like what I've recorded now. Honestly, I took so long in this recording to... Oh, and I've clicked spin. It was like three hours, wasn't it? Yeah, it was three. In that case, I've got about 20 minutes of reading left. But the reason why I've picked up the camera or my phone to record is because I finished Golden Tiger by Liz Harris. Now, for the most part, I was reading it and I was thinking, mm, this is going to be like a three star read. And then it got to a point where the characters, like the main character, what I would call the main male character, their lives were kind of in danger through kind of both their own actions, but also society deeming their actions to be wrong. I was literally sat there, literally I was sat there like this looking, like reading, like I was so like oh my god they're not gonna have this like this isn't gonna end up happy because obviously with so many books having a happy ending people are now going to start to not have happy endings and I was like oh my god which is why for me on Goodreads I've rated it four stars because that bit alone for that how much it gripped me that bit alone was worth a five star but for the rest of it, because it was so slow, like obviously I should have seen it building up to what the kind of main bit of like what to me was fast paced. Um, so I finished that, which is good. So that means I've finished, that means I've read 20 books 
out of my goodreads goal of 25 which is beautiful especially because like just yesterday i got accepted to be a reader for another arc um so actually it'll work perfect i won't have that one hanging over like my head i finished a book that's day one sorted i know it's like rough. well apart from like 20 minutes i'll pick another ebook even though i want to start powerless i also don't want to start powerless i want to finish other stuff so i might continue reading um the blades one that's on my um tbr before i go to bed i just kind of want to say that i read a chapter of balanced on the blades edge i'm still only i'm now 28 percent of the way through yeah 28 so not that far but obviously like they are big chapters or like they feel quite big okay so it is now saturday um and time to find out how many hours we are going to be reading for today um oh why did the wheel spinner have to reset itself okay so i've set the um wheel up today because it's saturday i've so i've put it up to six but then right at the end i put in a random seven i don't know why i thought you know what let's just try my look i've got a bit extra time today let's spin this like wheel three okay part of me wanted a bit longer because it's longer than an hour how did i get the exact same number as yesterday literally i got o three, 3 and i entered it in the same order as i did the only difference was i had in an extra like seven why is it that i get the exact same number this month i've had a good reading month obviously as you saw i finished golden tiger part of me was like if i only get an hour i'll focus on balanced on a blade's edge i really want to start powerless so that's what i'm gonna do i i need to start it i have been aching to start this for so long so sophie the one who's like running the book club she finished it yesterday and honestly her like reactions to it i'm just like i need to start this book part of me was hoping to get like five hours today i might still read for five hours um but i only have to read for three this time because i'm reading a physical book i will set a timer i'm so excited though ah. i have been wanting to start this like i said for so long oh my god it's got the new book smell i never smelled it when i got it and it's still got the new book smell that is honestly such a good smell i get to start it and i'm so excited but also because of how much i'm enjoy like really wanting to read it part of me expects to be really disappointed by it i don't know why because i'm so excited i feel like i'm gonna end up being let down somehow and i don't know why as long as it ends up being a four star read then i'd be happy yay powerless okay so i have finished the three hours actually i think i read for like 10 minutes longer just because the um i was wanting to finish a chapter so in this obviously you've got to remember this is the only book that i've read in this like three hour period and i have read 144 pages which is a fair like it's a 
good amount. It works out at just under a page a minute because obviously, mm, well, close enough. I am loving this so far. I'm just like, yeah, I am just I'm loving it. But in a way where I can't describe, like the interactions are so fun and they're so like real um in the sense of like this is something that would genuinely happen um like the interactions between kit and kai so kind of like playfulness and like teasing in between Payden and kai i just i'm loving it i'm waiting to get into the part where i can't put this down like i can't put this down now but you know the feeling of like I need to keep reading this. I need to see how this, like, I was going to say scenario, um, like, the trouble, the problem that needs solving. Yeah. So, for now, with how I'm loving it, I do still think it's a five-star read, like, already, and you've got to think I'm just under a third of the way through the book. But, again, I am loving this so much. But, obviously conflict that's the word but obviously we haven't got to the conflict of she is ordinary this is going to get fully discovered and what is going to happen my prediction is is that kai is going to try and save her and he's going to put his life on the line for her but i've heard there's a twist at the end and for some reason i feel like the twist is going to be towards her parentage i don't know why but obviously her mother died, like her mother died when she was young. That's not really a spoiler. Um, so, and like her father was murdered. I feel like we're gonna learn more about that and that maybe that could be involved in the twist. So technically it's a spoiler, technically it's not. Um, so yeah, like I feel like that's what the twist could be. Or it could be that she is elite and like, she had some hidden powers that for whatever reason were like stored up i don't know like i know this is a lot of people compare this to like the hunger games um because obviously with it being like the purges and there's like contestants like obviously it does give like hunger games like vibes in terms of that kind of plot acts aspect now i've i haven't read the first hunger games but i have watched the movie which i know books and movies are like different but if going off of the movie that's the only similarity is the fact that there's a contestant where they're like competing and even though they could die it's not a they must die kind of situation so that's kind of like my current thoughts on the book but i'm loving it so it is now Sunday and I didn't read any more of Powerless yesterday after I'd finished doing my three hours. I partly wanted to but then I got watching um, Hawaii Five-O on Paramount Plus. Really annoys me that it's only like from six, season six onwards but oh well. I've got, uh, I've set up the um, spinner in front of me so let's spin to see how many hours we'll be reading today and i did add in the seven hours as well despite the fact that i'm filming this at five o'clock so that could be um a me issue so if we get three again it's gonna be really weird like i'm sorry but that's gonna just be i think this is just rigged to do a certain amount because I have just got three hours and it's not just that it's just gone number three it's done the O3 every single time I've spun I think it's rigged so maybe next time I should just ask either my Google or Siri to pick a number between like one and like seven um so you know what we're gonna spin again i think because i got three 
every single time. I think it's actually better if I was to spin again to see kind of what it's going to bring up. Because at least this way it won't bring up three. Okay. Sorry, but we're not doing it for three. Like, I can't do three every single day. Four. There we go. Done. Four. We'll accept four. I just, I felt like because I'd kept getting three every single time, it needed to be a different number. It just, it needed to be. Like, I had no issue with it being like seven or two, but it couldn't be three. I've had two, I've had three hours twice already and that just, it wasn't okay. It wasn't okay. So maybe because, so this will be the book that I focus all my time on today. Maybe I'll come close to finishing it. Because I did, a hundred and obviously I did the 144 yesterday and it's like 500 pages. Um, I'm not spoiling it, I'm literally trying to get a number of page. Oh, that was a sneak peek, there we go. What's the way it didn't give me page numbers? That's the acknowledgements. 501, 502, and I spoil at the last line, but all it says is bring me page in grey. I didn't know who says it. So Paulus is like my read today and um, we're reading it for four hours. I've just read something and I'm so shocked from Powerless. I've just paused my time. Technically, um, I'm going to be finishing this in the early hours of tomorrow. That's just because I took breaks. And 280 pages in. Like, I'm, I just finished page 280, which was the end of the chapter. I wasn't expecting that. Why? That's the worst thing that they could have done to Kai. Why did they have to do that to that character? Not only to Kai, but also to the character that it is involved with. I'm trying to spoil it as little as possible. Why do they have to do that? That's cruel. But also that's smart of Lauren. She didn't take, like, risks. She didn't try to make it nice. Okay, I, I've read the next chapter and everything turned out all good everything's good i'm so glad because for a moment there i was like no they can't do that no they can't but everything's all good thank god for that okay so it's now just before quarter past one in the morning and my four hours has just finished i think i ended up reading for slightly over the four hours not only because i had like a couple of pages at the end of a chapter um after the time i went off but also because there was definitely a moment where I forgot to restart the timer and like I'd read a chapter I think it was only like a fairly short chapter but I'd read a chapter so I probably have read for slightly more again than the four hours but I've read 342 pages like I'm loving this it's definitely going to be a five star read for me not in the same like intense way of like oh my god like what's going to happen you know like that tense feeling you get with certain books where there's like conflicts and you're like oh my god like I can't put this down it's like the heartwarming um kind of five star which is really weird to say for a fantasy but it's just the interactions between Payden and Kai are lovely and also to get back to something I mentioned uh, I, I don't know whether it was earlier in this video I mentioned about how I thought there was going to be something more related to Payden's parents and I was right. Some part of Payden's father has been revealed and also actually the cause of his death. Telling you that Payden's de dad is dead definitely isn't really a it's not a spoiler. It's it's not a spoiler because it's basically mentioned from like page one. Um, we have just when i've fin like put this book down to film we've just got to the point of right at the end of the second ball and the little like incident that's occurred there um and so i think 
when I pick this bug up tomorrow, well technically today with how it is, I will be picking it up as we start the second trial. Um, and so it'll be interesting to see like what that is and like what it entails and how the team work together. I feel like it might be that a last minute change to this trial has been added so that they can't work together. I don't know why, but people don't like that Palin is working with Kai and that kind of influence that she has on him. Um, so I could definitely see that being brought in as like a new last minute like rule um, of a trial. I think I might roll the um wheel to find out how many hours i need to read today but to do it now just so that when i wake up i'm like fully aware of what i'm going to be kind of doing so that i can plan my day out because i think i need to do some editing um so that will kind of influence it but i still want based off of, i still want a good amount of time based off of the amount of pages which is basically 150 I need probably three hours, which is really weird because I've been trying to avoid the three hours today. Um, but I need probably two hours isn't enough. If I got two hours, I would just read for more. Um, by the point, like if I was to have read for two hours, I'd have probably read an extra 90 pages. And you've got to think with this book, 90 pages going off of my current like page would take me to 4.30 or around that point, like the two hours would. And with it only being 500 pages, of course I'm gonna read for like the extra hour, hour and a half that it would take me to finish the book. Because by that point, we've probably got to like the main conflict and we're either in the middle of it or we're trying to like resolve it, um, which I know can go hand in hand. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna set up the like little timer not the timer, the um, wheel, and then I will come back and spin it with you. Okay, so to reduce the chances of getting three again, I've just done one lot of one to seven. Um, we spun three a bit too much yesterday, so let's spin. And let's see, if it comes back with three, I feel like I will end up rolling it. Oh, we got five hours. I did it up to seven, like to point out, which I have to say, part of me wasn't expecting, but also, I'm glad about um so yeah I will be reading for five hours throughout Monday because I technically start now yes but also because I was counting the reading that I've just finished as yesterday I feel like it's a bit too soon I'm gonna put the book down for the night which as bad as it sounds it's quite easy to do because there are some chapters where if you finish it it's like again it's not when you're in the like moment of like intense like crisis we're trying to sort something out um we're not in like the conflict it's not in like the heart racing i'm like i'm it's not in the heart racing i'm scared for these characters kind of thing um but i'm really excited to pick it up tomorrow like oh i'm just i am loving kai everyone fucking loves kai and i can understand why in real life i don't like the cocky bastard type people like, it would annoy the hell out of me. They'd probably grow on me, but they would also annoy the hell out of me. Um, so in some ways I relate to Payton with that. Um, not that I have any, like, interaction with guys. Um, hence the, uh, I got stood up. Um, but yeah. So you can kind of relate to Payton. You all, we all kind of know or have interacted with the cocky kind of guy in a weird way sometimes when I'm reading it and I'm here I'm thinking like this partly could relate to like my friend's ex and I'm like he gives me like he was definitely the cocky type when you look back on him I had a feeling I would I was just like I'm hearing so much love about this and I know some books are like you hear so much love it then isn't it then disappoints you because I'd seen both Rachel, Sophie and Georgia, because they all loved it, I was like, I feel like I'm going to love it as well. Loving the book. And we will be reading for five hours. Tomorrow.
which is good for me to know because it means that I can like spread it out over the day. But of course we know when I say spread it out, I mean one sitting or maybe two sittings, depending on if I'm hungry or not, like hungry for food. <laughs> I will see you guys when it's morning. I have just finished Powerless and I have an hour and 53 to go. Yesterday I did leave it to the kind of later time. So um, I will be, whichever book I decide to pick up next will be read in the morning. Um, I loved this, much to the point where I hate that I'm reading this before the sequel is out. But also the even worse part is the fact that it's a trilogy, which means I'm going to have to wait till 2025 to finish this series. And I now know how everyone feels who like would have read like Akatar and just any other series. For example, the Things We Never Got Over like series, people had to wait a little bit for like the final one. And there's another series that I know Rachel's read where the third book doesn't come out until November. Oh, it's the, um, I can't think of the first one in the book, but the second one in the book is um, The Ballad of Never After. Oh, Once Upon a Broken Heart, it's that series. The third book comes out in November. Um, I now know how everyone feels. This is definitely a five star read for me. Like I'm absolutely loving it. I don't know what, I was about to say, I don't know what I'll pick up next. Well, I'll probably continue on with Balanced on a Blade's Edge. I might take an hour before I continue on with that because I will be thinking about this book. Like, honestly, such a good book. And I'm so glad that this is what was the book club read. Why do I have to wait so long for the sequel? And the problem is, is this book, it says it comes out like May 2024. If it comes out in the States in May 2024, I have to wait till July. Why do I have to wait? Loved it. I'm gonna feel so sad now because it's over. I love Kai. Um, predictions for the future. In one way, first of all, we're gonna see Abigail again. Like we're gonna see her again. Second of all, I have to say that I think we'll have a happy ending. It might take till book three to get there, but I, I don't know. I feel like the absence from now. The absence from the father will make them grow as a person and make them see how wrong he is. I don't know. I just, I feel like we're getting a happy ending. I could be wrong. Like, we all desperately, we all desperately want Peyton and Kai to be together. And even after the ending, I feel like it's still a possibility, which I only could ever say in book form. Because she helped him grow and he's gone soft. Anyone who's read the book will like know exactly what I mean. Oh, why does it have to be over? I might have um, had, I think it was an hour and 23 minutes left of um, time in terms of what I hadn't read from hour and 21 remaining, remaining of Monday's reading, basically. In my last clip, I said I had an hour and 53, then I listened to an audiobook when I was in the gym. So I still have the hour and 21 remaining. Plus I have whatever time I would have done on Tuesday and also today's reading and I'm filming this at half four. So I fully expect this to go over until tomorrow. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to spin this wheel twice. It'll give me yesterday's amount and also today's and then they'll be added together along with the hour and 21 and that's how long I need to read for today. So I have, I considered doing it up to just like five um, for each but then I thought you know what let's keep it realistic. Technically yesterday I would have only done it for five because of university but today I would have done it for the seven anyway um so i could potentially end up with 15 hours um so let's spin five hours okay so five hours for yesterday and two hours for today so that's seven hours in total plus the hour and 21 so eight hours and 21 minutes which is obviously a fair amount of time i did get 
lucky though because obviously again like I said I could have ended up with 14 hours just from the wheel um but obviously I only got seven in total okay so it's now Thursday the final day and I was really shit at reading on um Wednesday I literally listened to two audiobooks for a total of an hour and five which doesn't even cover me making up for Monday which means that before we even spin this wheel, we have seven hours and 16. However, I do have a book I want to start, but I can't show you it because I stupidly have my phone on top of it. But I want to start The Killing Habit by Mark Billingham. I looked at the date and realized how long it was like I haven't even started this. And so I decided to like take a quick look at the book. And I think this is the epilogue or like, the prologue i mean but look at how big that text is um so i don't think it will take me as long as maybe i would have expected i'll try and go towards the start of the book just so you can get a full idea but this is like that's big text um which will be very useful um it's really bad but i actually made i i wrote it out on a to-do list it's not to do but also it is I wrote down the books that I want to finish by the time, by like the end of October and I think I wrote down like four books or like three books and to start another only because the one that I want to start is like an arc where I need to have read it by like the 3rd of November um, and I don't really want to leave it till the 1st of November so yeah let's spin this wheel and we could be completely fucked with the amount of time that we have to read today. Four. Okay, so we kind of got a bit of fucks there. That means we've got 11 hours and 16 to read for. I'm currently in a knitting mood, so I think I will listen to an audiobook. I will probably listen to Yellowstone just because the kind of library loan is kind of coming short and yeah current thoughts on that are it's a little bit underwhelming at this point and I'm like 20% of the way through I think it could obviously pick up but it might only be like a three star read um the main reason why I picked it up like I um wanted to read it is because it was like so popular and I thought it's different i'm trying to expand my horizons basically the books that off the top of my head i want to finish are yellowstone balanced on a blade's edge and the killing habit with two of those obviously being my tbr books i can't i don't know how many books i've read so far this month but i know i've had a good reading month um but yeah okay so it's now just before half four i listen to an audiobook whilst I knitted I did that for what ended up being an hour and 19 um and then I read so I listened the audiobook I listened to was Yellow Faith I'm now I think I'm at the point where I'm like 43 percent of the way through the audiobook um so obviously that's a good kind of amount of progress through it and I also read Balanced on the Blade's Edge for an hour and ten so that takes my total amount of time that i need to read down to eight hours and 47 minutes i obviously haven't started the killing habit i just i wanted to get more of balanced on the blade's edge like read especially because they're like big chapters but it's got to the point where stuff's actually like happening now which is obviously like a good thing um because it means that when i pick it up again things are going to happen more frequently um so like now we've got to the point where it's been discovered that she's not the only magical person and under attack a little bit i don't want to kind of spoil too much and then with yellow face honestly i don't even know what point we're up to we're i think we've just i listened to um like a memory of june and athena I still think yellow face will be three stars um I don't think much will happen to change that um don't get me wrong it's beautifully written I'm just probably not the intended audience for it but I still wanted like I'm trying to like explore 
outside of my usual genre um or like go out of genres that i've read in the past so like i read fantasy a lot as a child um and like as like a young teen and then i read lots of crime and psychological thrillers and then i'm getting into like romance and so obviously like literary fiction is completely different um so but it works out quite well because obviously i haven't paid a single thing for this book because it's from the library um which again works like perfect so yeah i think i kind of feel like i want to pick up a physical book and read a physical book I do love reading from a book that's in front of me where I can turn the pages. Um, so I think that's what I'll do. Um, I'll probably end up picking up Balanced on the Blade's Edge more later. Um, and also I think I will listen to more of Yellow Face just because it's only got like five days until I need to return it so I do want to get through it in like the next two or three days um but yeah that's kind of what my progress is at um so obviously already I've had a much more successful um like reading so if I was to total up the hours I've read for two hours and 29 minutes so pretty much two and a half hours so it's already been more of a successful reading day than previous but let's get on to a physical book and also not only is this like a physical book it's also a completely different genre as well so I can like delve my mind into something completely different to what it's currently reading because Balanced on a Blade's Edge is like fantasy um with mixed of like sci-fi I think um and then obviously yellow face is literary fiction um so yeah it's always good that it, for me if i'm tandem reading i prefer to tandem read different genres i just find it works better um and also less chance to mix the plot up in my mind as well um but yeah okay so it's almost half ten and i've still got six hours to go i've been trying to take like breaks um like in between and it seems to be that I'll read for like what ends up being like an hour and like 10 well that reading time is um incorrect on there but yeah so I seem to be reading yeah like an hour actually think about um when I started the um like time back up um yeah I literally read for an hour I'm now um 72% of the way through balanced on the blades edge last time I talked to you I hadn't started the killing habit but I have now I have read 126 pages so far we're in the like really early stages where basically nothing is happening um so it's a little bit boring but I know that that is often the case with crime like thrillers and that they will pick up kind of from the middle um yeah and this is gonna sound really bad but I do plan to not go to sleep until I have finished but also my current plan is to um like I'll go to the gym, like I'll read for a bit more, maybe until like after midnight, then I'll like go to the gym, um, maybe listen to an audiobook whilst there, come back and then finish um, off the reading, but like minusing the amount of time that I listen to the audiobook for, just to try and get some of the reading done. Um, but yeah, maybe, um, it might be that I get balanced on the blade's edge finished tonight slash early hours of tomorrow that will be good um because it will just get it out of the way and will leave me with the physical book which again because it's got big text I'm getting through it at a rate of more than a page a minute um not two pages a minute but I am reading it quicker 
which does help um so yeah and then even though this is like the last kind of like day of the video maybe it'll be that <sighs> like tomorrow after i finish filming this video um i'll do more of the um yellow face but that's obviously a goal for a different time it's not important for this video um but yeah i thought i'd give that like nice little update will i absolutely mess up my sleep schedule yeah unfortunately um but that's just kind of how it is um and i'll just yeah i will just sorry this hair is really annoying me um yeah that's kind of my reading update i brought this all on myself because if i'd have read for more on um, like a previous day then i could have like avoided some of this but hey ho partly didn't help that i'd messed up my sleep schedule so much with um wednesday not wednesday tuesday in the sense that i literally didn't read at all on tuesday but i still gave myself tuesday hours which they were either the two hours or the five hours i think they were the five hours um but then obviously i got the two hours the other day like the day after i feel like i need to calculate the amount of hours that i rolled this week um so you kind of get an idea as to how many hours that i will have read for okay so it's quarter to midnight on the thursday so it's still thursday um i have i think it's like just under five hours left um, but I have just finished Balanced on the Blade's Edge by, I think it was Lindsay Buroka. I can't remember the name of the author, um, but I have finished it. Um, it got more interesting towards the end, but it was definitely like a three star read and it wasn't like 3.5 either, it was definitely a three. Um, but... Um, turns out there's technically a sequel in the series, but it can also be read as a standalone, um, which reveals something about a detail in Balanced on the Blade's Edge, um, which I will admit I wasn't expecting. I read the description because I was like, oh, it's like... I wouldn't have expected an I wouldn't have expected another one and it was like, oh my god, I wouldn't have expected that, but that's quite smart. Will I end up reading it? Probably not, because I didn't find this one it didn't entice me. Um but yeah. I'm glad that I've got that one out of the way. Um which does actually mean that the only one on my TBR that I've still got remaining is this book. Um I haven't read any more of it because I have quite literally just finished the ebook. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm glad that I finished that one. It's, yeah. I'm just glad that that's like over. Okay, so it's now the Friday and I didn't complete the hours. Like, like it's currently Friday night. I, I didn't do my hours. I just... I got to like half two after having not read any more for the two and a half hours with the half plan of going to the gym and it was like I'm not going to end up reading I'm going to be up to like seven at this point and I can't do it so I didn't complete my hours I had the like five hours to go I think part of what held me back is the fact that I've had literally no sleep for the Wednesday um but I still feel good I haven't calculated the amount of hours that I have done I will kind of like put it up on the screen here so you get an idea of how many hours I read for in total I how many books did I finish I know it's at least one is it just the one no because I finished two I can't remember which two I feel like I need to add an extra thing um maybe back when I maybe when I get back from the gym okay so it turns out that I forgot to end this video so I finished I think it's three I finished Golden Tiger, Powerless, 
and also balance i think i've did i finish balanced on the blade's edge in this video if not it was very close i finished it like a day after obviously based off of um my like october november wrap up i've already finished these um this video was from a fair while ago um well not too long ago but yeah but i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in my next video bye